Hey everybody, welcome back to the Classic League. And today we're going to an old friend, Odessa Keys. With another old friend. <sighs> it only bodes well. You might be surprised. Um, the the canary with the wine problem here actually uh, does surprisingly well with uh, Odessa Keys, and that's because the track overall is well redesigned. <laughs> I mean, you've still got the irritating I'm going to smack my nose into this corner. But take a look at this. Oh, okay, not this lap. <laughs> but what they did, uh, they um, widened the track a little bit. Just a teeny bit. Right. And uh, also moved that really irritating narrowing of the track further back so you have more time to prepare for it. That's helpful. As opposed to, as opposed to every other track, they just narrowed everything. Hell, I even most... I, I, I even managed to make that chicane on at one point. At full speed on Rapia, no less. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with Odessa Keys. It was a cry of joy when that happened. Mm. But, yeah, there we go. Nose in the bloody floor. Now, uh, yeah, ramps in Wipeout 3 have some very interesting physics. Because to make sure that you don't fall and have a rescue bot have to, you know, drag you back for about seven seconds. Well, watch the speedometer very carefully on this ramp. Notice that it gave you just a teeny boost. Yeah, just enough to get you over the pit. Yeah. Now the thing is, this is actually proportional. So, uh, later in the video, we're going to see what happens when I hyperboost. <laughs> now, if you hyperboost off one of these, then you'll go a little higher, but you won't do... you, you won't do the stupid jumps we've come to know and love. <laughs> so, you, you'd get to about that ramp if I hyperboosted off that, the top of that hill. Um, uh... Some crazy air. Yeah. So you're yeah. saying with the changes to the jump physics, it kind of made Terramax a little easier, wasn't it? Because you can't really fall into the pits anymore. Uh, not only can't you fall into the pit, well, um, you can fall into the pits, but it's incredibly difficult. Um, because it involves not falling straight into the pits, um, but actually actively trying to go out of bounds. The only way I've found you can do it. <laughs> take, a, take, take a left and fly off into the distance. Yeah, ba basically the moment you hit that boost pad, you air brake, brake hard left or right. <laughs> and yeah, only way you can fuck it up. There we go. Got, got through it all right, and then just hit the wall on the way out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was not my proudest moment. Um, but hey, we we got through with more than 0.7 shields. <laughs> yeah, that's a victory in itself. Yeah, um, the the piranha is not actually the weakest uh, in shields. That honor would go to the Icarus. <laughs> um, Tissue paper uh, shield. Yeah, uh, but it's also pretty weak when it comes to acceleration and average with speed. Um, because the Piranha was... The Piranha from Wipeout XL was a super expensive prototype. And uh, also half the technology in it was uh, basically banned by the Commission. So, you go, Piranha. You go. <laughs> That was because you did the piranha through the piranha challenge on uh, a desert keys last time. So how does it feel different with the modern piranha and the modern version of the track? Uh, it actually feels much more relaxing <laughs> because, good lord, ten in everything is terrifying. 
I mean, imagine it. You hit a wall and instantly go back to full speed. I need some Oi. kind of, um... Ah, oh, what's it? I forgot which uh, future racing game was the motorbikes one. So if you try you to go... Moto. Maybe. We started getting faster and faster and we had the uh, screen distorting all around you. Oh, actually, no. That would have been the remake of Power Drone. Maybe something yes. like that. Yes. Yeah, we, we do not like to talk about blur effects in racing games. <laughs> yeah. Because some of them really are very sick making. But is this the one where I. No. No, because that's not actually a ramp. Just a drop. Just a drop. Um, come on, there we go! <laughs> <laughs> Into the Black Sea with you! And again! But look that at was, our shields. Uh, that, that 35 shields jump. from 80. And that was two hyper boost tops. Good thing they don't let you just drain yourself into oblivion with it. No, no. It will actually stop you from hyper boosting if you're uh, below 25% shield. Although there is a cheat, uh, it was quite funny actually, because uh, there was a cheat in Wipeout 3 Normal Edition that allowed you to hyper boost all the time, but it still drained your shields. So you could just too fast, too furious into a wall, into a wall and oblivion. Uh, no, it was even better than that. On the on the very first straight, you could explode <laughs> because you hyper boosted all your shields away. So yeah. So that's one way to get the the boost off the line. Yeah, yeah. Um, although, uh, as I believe I mentioned way back in the Goteki video, um, getting a boost star is not really amazingly useful because everyone uses a little bit of hyper boost at the start. Right. So no matter what you get, they're always boosting ahead of you anyway. Uh, unless you use something like 20% of your shields right at the beginning. <laughs> at the very least, it's easier. It wipes out three, you've got a little better indicator of when you can hit the, uh, the speed jump. Yeah. And one last pit stop because I'm that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, AI, but you're not actually challenging until Phantom. Yeah. Um, so in this one you don't get quite a lot, we had in the, uh, the Wipeout 2 version where the AI became really aggressive at this point. Oh no! No, I, uh, as far as I'm aware they saved that for Phantom and uh, the uh, prototype tracks. <laughs> which will be, uh, I think, something like three videos from now. Um, plus whatever future racing is weird breaks I may take. You may have to keep your um, sanity long enough to get gold on everything. Uh, <laughs> you know what, I'm, I'm actually doing it uh, Rapier and Phantom first, because Vector and Venom is the really soul-destroying one. The easy run that just rains your will to go. It, it's, it's not even an easy run, it's just... I could be making tea. <laughs> I could be I, I could be playing cooking mama and doing it at the same time. No, that is not a video idea. <laughs> Challenge run. No. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's it's I I'm glad they eventually get rid of Vector. Hmm. Is all I'm saying. I mean, the replay camera does show off the... Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, it shows off that oh, yes, well. it does. It shows off the piranha well, but also shows off the, uh, the magical journey outside the track. Now, well, one thing that's made me laugh, um, and I only realised that many of the models had this uh, um, on looking at this, but if you look just behind the cockpit, you've effectively got this way up signs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just kind of... 
Okay, so the wings are pointing down, and the nose is pointing down, and the cockpit's on the top. Do you really need this? <laughs> or, or is this a where the weapons go? I don't know. Yeah, it's literally be like a nose step or something, but it looks like where you would have to get your feet in to get in that thing. Yeah! Ah... <laughs> <sighs> Either way, Odessa Keys is actually a delight to play, which is a lovely change for a remake of a track. Thank you so much. <laughs> <sighs> and, uh, yeah. It's just so relaxing. And again, the replay camera is pretty good. Yeah, it's a nice little track on it, so you're saying. There's less replay cameras from here on out, though, isn't there? Uh, yeah, because, um... We've only got the two tracks left. Uh, one of them isn't very impressive, sadly. Um, and the prototype tracks, as far as I'm aware, they're only, um... I'm not sure whether we can get a replay on those. Huh. I think we can, but I'm not certain. Oh, well, see you next time.